Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. been so so kind to me all oh, the overwhelming never ending reckless love of God oh it chases me down fights till I'm found leaves the 99 Yo, 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 it's your boy, Young Saint, coming at you guys with a new video. And today I want to talk to you, ladies and gents, about a book that I hold close and dear to my heart. And without further ado, I present to you all the Abram Allen Ritual. So this is a ritual I sort of been interested in for about, I'm going to give it three years now. Although when I first got into the book, I wasn't as serious about the religion because the level of difficulty that comes with the practice is very, very difficult. But nowadays, I am. What exactly is this book about, you might ask? Well, the book is about binding demons, but it also shows you what you need to do to contact your HGA, which is an acronym for your Holy Guardian Angel. The HDA was popularized by an English occultist named Aleister Crowley, supposedly born on October 12th of 1875. This goes into the realms of demonology, not to be confused with demonolatry. In order to complete this ritual, you must take a vow of celibacy and take on a completely plant-based diet. So what exactly is your holy guardian angel. So this is a guiding spirit in your life meant to point you in the right direction. From my understanding, it's sort of like a higher self, but sort of not at the same time. The person who wrote this ritual was Abraham, not to be confused with the Abraham who wrote the Torah. And although really condescending in the book of others outside the Jewish faith, did in fact encourage people from all walks of life to attempt this ritual, whether they were pagan, Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, etc. Though, keep in mind, if you are pagan, then some of this stuff you read about in this ritual will in fact offend you. Just a heads up. So for those of you who want to do this ritual, I'll give some pointers because this does go into the realms of secretive information. And I know how frustrating it can be wanting more knowledge on your chosen subject in the code and you clicking on a person's video and it seeming or it seems like they are beating around the bush on the subject. Don't make the mistake that I made starting out with this book and just have it sitting around and not really be reading it. The reason why I say that, because the book will give you weird dreams. You specifically, the person who owns the book. Or let some of the demons you read about scare you off from completing the book or reading the book. Because if you are more connected to the paranormal realm you will, in fact, start having dreams about these entities th that you are reading about in the book. OK, so I'm going to finally, finally get to the point of something that you need to do leading up to the ritual um, of Abram Allen. So one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have to fast Wednesdays. Thursdays and Fridays leading up to the Sabbath. And you need to also, while fasting, at some point be practicing the seven. It's, it's kind of hard for me to pronounce. I have it written down on my notes. 
hold on, give me one second. The seven penitential Psalms of David. So be researching that, looking at those Psalms closely and getting yourself familiarized uh, with those Psalms. Okay. So, you know what, with that being said, um, if you all have your Bibles with you, um, or even a Torah, uh, you can go to Psalms chapter 23 verses one through six and you, and there's a prayer there that can help you during your fasting sessions. And, um, it starts off with the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of your enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Okay, and also before I end this video, I also want to, I want you guys to know, you ladies and gents to know that um, this book focuses heavily on the Jewish Kabbalah. Now, the reason why I mentioned this is because the Kabbalah has existed in different cultures. And one of the Kabbalahs that I like to utilize are Kabbalah, a.k.a. the Tree of Life, that I like to utilize is the um, Egyptian Tree of Life, or you can call it the Kemetic Tree of Life. And I'm going to just go ahead and Show show you all right here. Hold on, give me one second right here. This is the Egyptian Kabbalah right here, right? And <coughs> excuse me. And the reason why I mentioned the Kabbalah and are the the Egyptian Kabbalah because it does. It would seem like. Everything is writing off of this initial Kabbalah right here, right? And everybody has certain faculties and things of that nature are, um, you can say, HGAs or Holy Guardian Angels. Um, and, and the um, religion of, or not religion, I'm sorry, it's more like a spirituality or in the theurgy of Kemet, we have something that we call the... Meto, I'm gonna just put meto netter. So netter meaning nature, right? It, it so the metal net netter is the nature of your being, is the nature of, of yourself. And what, what was my point of mentioning this, right? Um, your metal netter will, would most likely also get you more close to your holy guardian angel okay so with that being said right hold on, I, I, saw, I, I don't know if i showed you this or not the metal netter okay and um so with that being said there is these faculties from zero to ten right and this is basically Basically, you can say what rides off of the Ark of the Covenant, or you can also say the original Ten Commandments, because keep in mind, because a lot of people, this is very controversial, because a lot of people don't really want to accept this, although it's the truth. Egyptian society predates most things when it comes to, to when it comes to this. Okay, so all right, Amen. Being 
we can just say our men being nothingness or meditation. Um, I'm going to kind of put biblical people and match them to, to this tree of life because I, I am um, a Christian with my views and do consider myself a Christian occultist. So Asar being the grand architect of the universe, um, Tahuti being Hermes Trismegistus, um, Sekert meaning is destiny, right? Um, uh, for being Ma'at or AKA the mother of Jesus, okay? And Heru being Jesus himself, right? So with that being said, with that being said, Heru is, is Horus, right? And Ma'at is Isis, right? And these are, um, I would like to say, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments and you are along those same lines of research, personifications of these people. Um, we, we also have Herukuti and we have, um, oh, and Herukuti is, is basically like a leader in society. No, no, hey, my bad. Heru is like a leader in society. Herakuti enforces the law. Enforces the law. Right? And um, Het Heru um, in the Egyptian um, culture being Hathor, the goddess of music, are in Greek mythology being in Greek mythology being Aphrodite, the goddess of prostitutes synchronizes to Mary Magdalene. Sebek being an intellectual, Aset being a a, a, a a wisdom, and Geb being on earth. Everybody's gonna match to one of these faculties. You know what I'm saying? It is important, especially when, especially when looking at a ritual like the Abraham Allen rituals to understand and utilize uh, the tree of life or the Kabbalah. So, all right, this was an overview of the Abraham Abraham Allen ritual. Sorry, and utilizing the Kabbalah. Hope you have a great day or night. And remember, just like Disney's of Wizards of Waverly Place states, everything is not what it seems. Blessed be to the Holy Trinity. This is Young Saint signing off. Peace.